I'm Clara, and I've been working for the Office of Spiritual Life. So the Office of Spiritual Life um, wants to support everyone in their spirituality. Um, and I, I've thought a lot about what kind of religion and spirituality mean and how they relate. Um, but my definition of spirituality has really become expansive. Um, and I see that everyone has spiritual lives, whether, you know, no matter what way they express that. Um, and so at campus, there, there's many different religious groups and people with various religious identities. Um, and we want to support that and we want to learn about that. That's like a beautiful aspect of the diversity of campus and of the world. And that includes people that are suspicious of religion or people that consider themselves spiritual but not religious or people who maybe don't really have any interest in those things at all. So I think that uh, it's for everyone and there are ways that we can all learn from one another through our religion or our spirituality or our su suspicions of those things or our kind of not being involved in those things because um, we're all human and we all have kind of big questions um, and struggles about life. Hi, my name is Hilary Martin Hyman. I'm the chaplain and director of spiritual life here at Lewis and Clark College. Here in the Office of Spiritual Life, we want you to have that sense of belonging. No matter who you are, no matter what your background, we want you to feel at home here at Lewis and Clark. So I wasn't expecting to find the Office of Spiritual Life when I came to Lewis and Clark, but I wanted to kind of meet other people um, and have conversations about um, just kind of general human life things um, that I didn't have space for in the classroom. And so I started going to like weekly drop-in meditation groups and met a lot of friends through that. And then I've been involved with the On Being discussions. So we listen to a podcast and just kind of talk about interesting human questions that kind of grapple with big issues of our time in a spiritual way. We also do a lot of education on the campus. We collaborate with student organizations like the Muslim Student Association and host grand events like our very first Ramadan Iftar. We emphasize that sense of belonging through educational opportunities, like panel discussions on Islamophobia or outings to different faith communities. There's a spiritual query group that kind of operates at the intersection of queerness and spirituality. And so they have a lot of different conversations and kind of events uh, related to that. Um, Portland Hillel has a group on campus for Jewish students and they have a, they're really active. They have a lot of great um, events and things going on in the community. We work with faculty to make sure that they know what religious holidays are coming up so that students can observe if they wish without penalty. There are several Christian groups on campus. They have a weekly service in here in the chapel and then they have a couple of discussion groups. There's Pioneer Christian Fellowship and then there's Fellowship of Christian Athletes for athletes on campus. And I've been to a number of kind of retreats to spiritual communities in town and there's always opportunities for any any new groups that we're all excited about um, for students to start um, that are related to spiritual topics or religions or just kind of conversation based as well. It's really been just a great way to meet people that are spiritually curious and that have similar interests and that want a space um, to be held in that kind of human struggle as we're kind of grappling with big issues that we don't really find in the classroom. Whether you are agnostic or atheist, whether you have a strong religious background, know that you are welcome here. Know that it is important to us that you feel that sense of belonging. Focusing on what unites us and the kind of questions that we have and that, that doesn't really mean universalizing everything, um, but I think it means just kind of holding one another in our human process, whatever religious path or spiritual path that is, um, and learning through that.